A youth group has asked Nigerians to intensify priors for the peaceful conduct of the 2023 elections that made the call while speaking to Plus TV News at an event organized in Lagos. They called on Nigerians, particularly the leaders, to ensure all forms of differences that could stand as hindrances to the success of the election is tackled. The beauty of Nigeria all that we don't seem to realize is that Nigeria has always been uh, 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 taken care of by the youth. Nigerians have driven the affairs of the youth since independence. If you look at the people that have ruled us, I think the current president is the oldest president that we have ever had in the history of Nigeria. If you go to uh, the National Assembly, you see that the, the, uh, the Senate president and the speakers have been between the age of 40 and 50. So the youth have actually controlled the affairs of Nigeria. And if you go to the corporate sector as well, the banks that we have today, the, the, the those that formed the banks were in their tw late 20s, early 30s, back then when they formed um, the bank. So Nigeria has been directed and controlled by the youth, and I'm sure that we will, control, we will continue to, to make sure that, to control Nigeria, that Nigeria is in our hands. We are not going into abusive campaign, do you understand? No hate speech. That's my belief, that okay, let's just showcase what we have, what we got to give to Nigeria. That's just why I'm here. So we, there's so many issues, security issues. There's some that are spiritual to me, and we have some as physical. So that's my own area. Good afternoon. My name is Honorable Abayo Amida Amola, the Vice Chairman, APC Lagos State Central, then the APS leader in Victoria Island LCDA, APC. So now we have a Praying for Nigeria, praying for ourselves because. The spiritual belief that uh, prayer is the key. So anything that is good in this prayer, if there is any issue in any way in this prayer, so I'm very happy that this program reflects, this program needs, this program knows that prayer is the key. And with prayer, everything will be done. I also want to use this medium to appreciate those that fought for independence of this country. Even though some of them, they are late, and um, to the glory of God, some of them, they are still alive. And then uh, they are still pursuing and um, making sure that uh, we have a greater Nigeria. And we are here today to celebrate our heroes. And because we know that in Nigeria today, we need prayers and uh, restoration, so to speak. And it is only God and ourselves as individuals that can bring back that restoration so that Nigeria will have its Lord's uh, glory back. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.